What is good everybody, it's Superior Kai here, bringing you another video on the channel, and today I wanted to just talk about what I would like to see in DC Universe Online, whether it be whether that's content or little add-on things that I would like. So, let's get into it. So the first thing I would like to see is, and this is just my personal thing, I'd like to see more of Cassandra Kane in this, in this game, because she's just sitting in the watchtower, like doing nothing, right? That's one of my favorite Batgirls, I don't really care for Barbara too much, but... That's just me personally. I would like to see more Bat Family content. I know that we kind of had one. What was it? I don't remember when the last Bat, Bat Family content was. I think it was something to do with the Riddler and Turf Wars or whatever. But I would like to see more Bat Family content in this game. Uh, I think the next DLC that we're getting or the next update has something to do with the Legion of Doom or the Hall of Justice or whatever. So hopefully, you know, we get something to do with that. I would like to see... A Batman, Batman Beyond in this, Terry McGinnis. I thought, I thought that would be super cool to see that, or whatever. Uh, my next thing that I would like to see in this game, in regards to DLC, is, and I know we kind of just had this, we're having this right now, currently at, at the time I'm making this video, when it comes to Flashpoint, but more Flash content, right? I want to see my boy Wally West, you know. Ginger Wally West. I want to see him. I want to see his rebirth outfit, the blue lightning, which is another thing I also want to see. I want to have the ability to have, you know, an actual blue lightning trail, unlike the generic, you know, just yellow lightning that we have for super speed. I feel like having more character customization in this game, being able to uh, customize our movement speed, our movement modes, I thought that was a really cool idea. I would like to see more of that in this game. But. In regards to other DLC, you know, just something to do with the Justice League, right? Because I feel like the DLC in this game has kind of been a little, I don't know, not to say redundant, but I'm just, I don't know. I'm tired of the whole, I'm tired of seeing Wonder Woman content. I'm tired of seeing Aquaman content. I feel like we've had that for like forever, forever. I feel like I want something a bit different. Like the Titans DLC that we got was very different. I very much enjoyed that. I would like to see more DLC like that. Um, and I feel like if they had, you know, if they had give us more maps, more different like type of maps, that would be kind of cool, you know, especially for free roam. I will say this though, that, Atlant that Atlantis DLC was dope. You know, being able to swim around Atlantis, that was cool. I like when they do that. I like when the team does that, when they give us these really cool things. Uh, but more of a futuristic DLC, kind of like how we have here with Batman future Batman and future Lex Luthor I feel like that would be cool I feel like we haven't really touched on well we have a whole story based on the game on that but I feel like we, there's still so much we can uh tell with the whole exobytes right I feel like that would be super sick to do that um just for other little things you know for when it comes to a new power uh this might sound kind of goofy Mainly because I'm a speedster, my my main character has super speed, but I don't know. Speed force power would be cool to cool for me, right? I know a lot of people may not want another power, they may not think that's cool. I feel like if we do get another power, it'll probably be something like wind or air or something like that, because I don't really see what else they could really do. A Green Lantern story might be dope. Another Green Lantern or Lantern DLC. I don't know. I'm just throwing stuff out there, right? If, if we get the same amount of quality that Titans had, that uh, the Aquaman DLC that allowed us to swim across Atlantis had, I think that would be dope. And I feel like they should utilize characters that they really haven't done before in DC, that they have in the game and just in the DC universe in general. Like I said before, Cassandra Crane, she's not really doing anything in the Watchtower. She's kind of just a vendor. I would like to see her in some DLC. Bring in the original Wally West. I want to see him in a story. I think um, bring in other Bat Family members would be dope too. I'm I would I would honestly like if they did like a uh, another Bat Family DLC. I'd be fine for that. I would be. I don't know about you guys, but that that's just me. Uh, because I like Batman. I like Flash. And yeah. Uh, but that's gonna be it for this video. It's kind of short. You know, I just kind of wanted to, you know, put this out there. 
Um, I'm sure the I'm sure the Hall of of Hall of Justice will be cool. You know, because I I haven't been disappointed with any of the DLC that DLCs that they've shown us just far. You know, like I said, the Wonder Woman stuff and the Aquaman stuff has kind of just gotten. I'm just yeah, I'm not really interested in that. I've seen that before. You know, I've seen that. All I want is same quality that we got in Titans and and more character customization and definitely a fix a definitely a fix in the uh, the the AI the, the hero helping helping AI whatever they call it right the ally AI that's what they call it definitely a fix in that because I hate how they just leave they do one attack and they just leave they don't actually help you in combat I think that I think that's Really lame. Yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, I'm Superior Kai. And if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, remember to stay superior. Bye. Mm -hmm.